Alright, thanks uh, for stopping by and we will talk today about indifference curves. So what is indifference curve? Some of you may be not a native English, so you're confused like what is indifference curve like me. I'm not a native English, so I was confused. But what is it means? Indifference curves mean like there is no difference. Okay. And what does it mean there is no difference? Because we will talk about your preferences. We've been talking about budget constraint in buying stuff that you like. But we haven't talked like actually what is your utility, what makes you happy and what you prefer. Because look, you are as individual here. It's A. And there is another individual here. Let's say B. For example, A rather choose more, choose cook more than burger, and B rather choose burger. For example, and every person have preferences, and this is why when we going to one of our course about. Uh, economics related with uh, what's that course uh, neoclassical economic that everyone have their preferences and individual is the driver of the economics okay so let's put it here in difference curve and let's come back again to the curve that we already made before which is related with the coke and the burger so let's say like this you have a line and this is the line that you were showing before that we have before okay this is the line that let's say the same price for one two three four for burger each of burger will cost you for example twenty dollar and for each cook cost you five dollar okay and you willing to consume because i know you have budget preferences your money is forty dollar and you cannot consume the combination that beyond this forty dollar but you will less happy if you only consume for example here let's say you consume only one burger and one coke okay and you will be a bit sad because hmm, my preference is i have to eat two burger in a week how come i only eat one burger okay or you would rather to choose for example okay i want two burger here okay but no coke and you will also be said mm, i don't want but rather you want to choose for example more you would like to choose somewhere okay let's say you don't have only 40 dollar because maybe with the example of 40 dollar bit hard so let's say you have 60 dollar i will add more the budget Okay, you have sixty dollar. So you would like to find a combination that make you happy, because here on this level, you're not so much happy. Okay, and you will be more happy if you have or buying, for example, what three burger with one two three four five six seven with seven of coke hmm here you are more happy now let's say like you don't have a budget constraint and you're just thinking like what's thing that make me happy and here the concept of indifference curve coming for example let's say you are happy with this amount of seven burger uh, sorry seven coke 
with only one burger and we pull the line like this and this is the line that make you happy why we call it indifference because for you there is no difference difference that you consume seven coke and one burger with four burger and one coke so in this level you are happy okay let's move it you are happy you are happy look all this happy smile here is your preferences okay all of them make you happy and here is the level that you are unhappy and you want to you try to avoid this so in the next course we will talk about like so if this part is make you happy and this is not make you happy where it should meet and why also the curves look like this instead of the line because here it's indifference curve and this because you are happy in the way that anything's going bigger in a burger or in a coke uh, it will be different like this for example there is a line and this is for example homework the amount of homework for example and this is for example the amount of your social job i know some people like it but rather some people doesn't really like it the curve will not look like this but the curve will more look like this oh that's the point okay this is something that you don't like so this is the what utility that you like and this is something that utility that you feel you worse worsening by the amount that it's getting higher and higher okay so after this we will talk about budget constraint made with the indifference curve hope it's helped and uh, keep following the next course